Coates back in my garage survival. Guess what? Everything's gone to crap. I slept a little bit. I'm out of food now. At least I think I am. I got I got plenty of junk here if I want to like drink water, but I don't have any food left. So we got to move on. Um, I'm hoping it gets close to morning, but we have to move on. We don't have a choice. And I don't we haven't found fuel, so I'm not sure how much fuel will be left in this dang thing, but we're gonna we're gonna attempt to keep going as as one does. Okay, come on. Okay, perfect. All right, this is off. This is gonna go into first. Okay, yeah, this is definitely very broken. Someone said it might be my drive shaft, but that drive shaft's been broken since the very beginning. So I don't know if it would be that. I also have no idea where I'm going, um, because there's no road out of this place. Okay, this is very, very scary. Oh, Jesus. This is the worst map. Oh, yeah. We got to hit spacebar for the parking brake. I think I'm... Oh, crap. I may have gotten to a valley I'm never going to get out of. There we go. Let's see. Yeah, I don't need a lot of power. I just need enough to get up these hills. Oh, come on, baby. Because the engine's running fine. It's just the... Uh, something's wrong elsewhere. Ugh. That's causing me problems. And I still can't see any buildings. So this is, this is not going to end well. I feel like this is going to be the end of this run. If I don't find food or I don't completely destroy the car. And there's some parts in the car that are getting pretty questionable. So I need to be, I keep thinking I see smoke coming out of the engine bay. Which could really actually be a thing because it does overheat from time to time if you like blow the radiator or get a damage to the radiator or something. Yeah, I don't know where I am. <laughs> and I don't see any roads anywhere, and this is just going to get more dangerous if I don't get back on a road sometime in the near future here. Ugh. No, 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 please. Don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. Okay, good. Phew. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, that's a river or a lake. Jeez, I wish I could just see a little bit better. It's, it's problematic when you can't figure out where the, the buildings are. Ugh, come on, baby. Oh, no, here we go. We're going to go backwards now. Oh, it's not even rolling very well backwards. I think the car is just dragging on the ground because of the uh, broken suspension parts. Okay, let's just put this on for a sec. Let me hop out. Let me take a look around. It's very early morning and I can't see much. You wait there, car. I'm not sure it's going to be worth going up this hill for, so let's take a look uh, first. Yeah, morning, morning would be great. It, it's like becoming morning. Okay, what do we got? I, I don't see a whole lot of anything. No roads, no anything. Okay, well, then I guess it doesn't matter if we go into the valley, but we're never getting out of that valley if we go in there. That's my problem with it. I'd rather try to climb every mountain, fjord every stream, but I'm not sure that's possible with this car. All right, let's sit down. Okay, let me... Turn the parking brake off. There we go. We're just going to build some speed up going down the hill. Hopefully it'll be enough to carry us a little up the next hill. The problem is I never want to go too fast because if you hit a good bump, it's over, man. Like you, you'll destroy the car, right? Like stuff like that can destroy your car very quickly. Also, it'd be nice if the sun would come up so I could see. Oh, God.
There we go. Come on, baby. Like, I feel like we're never going to make it up something like that. Because even this is, is making me struggle. This is not much of a, of a hill. Well, probably is more than I than it looks like to me. This is what I get for going off road. What oh, bomb started? <laughs> nice. Come on, baby. This engine actually, I kind of like the sound of it at full revs. It it just has that, that very like Euro centric sound to it. Oh, come on. It's just the way European cars tune their exhausts. So even like the cheap Euro cars, like uh, especially the French, all have this unique sound to them that you can just hear and you know instantaneously what you're listening to. <laughs> like, okay, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Ugh. No, 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 no. Oh, come on. Piece of garbage. Okay, come on. I've just gone around the whole lake. Pretty much, with an attempt to try to get back out of this pit of despair like this isn't a hole of emotion oh my god are you kidding me are you kidding me right this is a joke of some sort <sighs> what did i high side on now oh, this is a this isn't a hole of emotion this is a crater of contempt <laughs> this is what this is this is oh my god you pick up the damn thing please Oh, gotta hate that it has to be lowered to pick up. Okay. All right, let's just jam it under there. That should hop it. Okay. Rotate it, maybe? No, that didn't work. Come on. Usually you just gotta find the spot of the body. Here we go. We'll put it under here. Watch this. If you find a part of the body, don't stick it too far into the ground, which I've discovered causes problem. Yep, that just hopped into the trunk, didn't it? Yep. And then you should be able to bounce it places if you're lucky, like that. <laughs> but you can also just push the car like this if you desire to move it around something. So if you ever get stuck, just start pushing on the car. It will go. Eventually. <sighs> like this piece of garbage, man. Like the springs all broke in the room. Remember when I had good springs? I remember those days. I wasn't even driving that hard when they broke. Like, I get it if I'm going full tilt off of things, but that is not what I was doing. All right, here we go. Please sit sit in the damn... Okay, you know what? It says enter to sit, and guess what? It doesn't work. There we go. All right, so we're going to put this in gear first. We're going to turn that off. Let's see if this helps. There we go. I probably wearing out my springs doing that. Yeah, I've got around this entire... Uh, <laughs> thing and I'm just headed back the way I was coming before. There we go. Come on, baby. Looks like we might be able to get out over here, possibly. See, the thing is, you gotta circle it like a drain. Like, it's a toilet flush, and if you get into a spot like this, so you can use what little power you do have to climb on slightly an angle. I've done this in the long drive, where you keep it on a, a slight angle, just so the RPMs keep up. And then slowly make progress. Oh, I might be able to keep this line. Oh, no, maybe not. Oh, you son of a bitch. God, I hate this game sometimes. 
<sighs> we need the four-wheel drive is what we need. We need the, the Neve. Come on. Are you friggin' kidding me? It's funny how you can push it every direction except forward. Like, I can push it backwards. I can push it sideways. It just won't go forward when you push on it with the brake on. But every other way, way it'll go. But if you take the brake off, you're going to get it out of control. Oh, God, I'm never getting out of this valley. We're going to circle the valley the whole time. I can feel it. And never actually accomplish anything. Oh, my God. Would you just get... What, how, how big is this ridge? Like, seriously, <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? Oh, God damn, I'm going to lose it. All right, here we go. Let's try that. Oh, my God, would you just get... Okay, yep, just fall out that. All right, close the door. Enter to... Oh, God, this again. Enter to... <laughs> it's okay. I'm having a frustrating day. There we go. Come on, baby. Shift. I'm nervous because I don't have a tack to see what I'm redlining the piece of crap. Come on. Yep, something broke. Okay, come on. Come on. That wasn't even a hard hit. I'm surprised that that did any damage at all. Come on. Ugh. Okay, we're in, a, we're in a bit of a... Oh, no, we're not in a forest. I thought we were in a forest. We're in a copse of trees. Oh, this is going to hurt. Come on. Oh yeah, we're never making it up this. Come on. Come on. Oh, this is a little speed, little speed, little speed, little speed, little speed. Uh. Come on. No, you son of a bitch. Uh, God, what now? You, let me guess. I'm going to say you're hung up, right? Yep, of course you are. Uh, what's weird about it is in the single player, I've pushed cars with a parking brake on plenty of times to get them into the shop. And they'll push fine, but when you're out in the world here, it just does not like it. It's probably something to do with the ground geometry or something. There we go. Let's try that. Are we off the... If I, if I could get it off the, the ground, then this is, like, with a better suspension, we'd be fine. Am I moving? Oh, yeah, the sound is happening, so... Where it was... Oh my god, what the f... Ugh. All right, what now? Are we hung up again? Probably. Let's just push it forward until... Let's just take... Let's just push it to the next stop. Because that seems to be <laughs> what needs to happen. If this was flatter ground, that's exactly what I would do. If this wasn't so freaking hilly and rocky. But this, 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 this time, the game is hating on me. I'm not sure what I've done to the game. I didn't touch... I didn't touch its wife. I didn't go near its children. I've paid all my bills to it on time. Um, and yet it hates me today and last a couple episodes. Ugh, come on. I'm not going to make it any any mileage in this episode. I can tell you that much. The car's going to run out of fuel just idling. Okay, are we, are we up and over the lip? It's like a constant lip. Ugh, then this now. You got to like jump in it and <laughs> then crouch. Ugh. Oh, great. Here we go. I can't even get in. Aha! You're not going to get me, fool. Perseverance, I tell you, baby. All right, here we go. Anything is preferable to... Oh, my God. Any movement. Is it moving at all, or is it just sitting here? I think it's turning. It's not moving. Oh, wait a minute. We just about had a movement. Come on, Jesus Christ. How crappy can you be? Oh, God, what I wouldn't kill for a set of springs. What's weird is that you almost can never find a car with a good set of springs. And I've known this from, I've noticed this in all the playthroughs I've done of this so far, is nearly every car is either missing or has broken springs. And when you do come across them, you got to keep them, man. Oh, just be damn sure I'm going to be pushing you up this hill. Oh, great. Yeah, that it can drive over. Oh, check oil. What? Oh, that was just the engine. I was like, what? 
Why did that message just pop up? Don't freak me out like that game. <laughs> I thought it was like telling me like, oh, your oil's low. Fuck. No thanks, bud. Ugh. This, this, this could be a way out. Probably not, but we're going to give it a shot. Like my, my bigger fear is right now is that I'm working the engine really hard because I got to keep it first a lot. And this engine is, is working. Very difficult working on this. And it, it's going to blow something. Like at some point, something's going to give up the ghost. Now left would be a better path. This looks a little bit flatter. Um, obviously it's straight uphill, but, and stop. Okay. I would love to turn it off, but I think, oh God, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Are you sliding backwards now? Okay. No, no. Go up the hill, fool. Normally this would not be an issue. Okay, wait a minute. I know what we can do. I think this works. Um, because I'm always afraid I'm going to... Uh. Okay, you know what? Just get me in the fucking car. <laughs> Seriously. Okay. No, I don't want to sit. I want to go like this. This does work from inside the car. It's not real great. But it does work where you can move the person inside the car. Okay, let's try that. I think the only way up and out of this valley, honestly, is going to be me getting out and pushing the car while it rolls. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no. Come on, you son of a... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm going to lose it. It's a tiny little rise. You piece of trash. You piece of garbage car. Okay. Get in the car. Jeez and crackers, buddy. The apocalypse hit, and I had to get the freaking old Honda Civic of cars. Oh, my God. And we're stuck on a little rise again. And the problem is, because people in the comments are like, well, why are you driving that way then? Because they don't have a choice. I can't go back down here. I need to stay up this hill. If I go down there, the car does not have the power to get back up the hill. So I, I need to stay up here, unfortunately. And every turn, every spot is a little... Look at this. It's just lump, lump, lump. Ugh. You know what? It's not so bad. We're still alive. The car still runs. Barely. Ugh. I just need you to go up and over this, please. Ugh. What's weird is if I get out and I un undo the parking brake. Ugh, come on. Where are we now? <laughs> okay. It's, you can do the parking brake from through the rear window if you're a little bit careful, but you can't see then where the car, oh, there, it's going down the hill now. Okay, let me just, is that, is that over the hill? Okay, this is, this is better. Okay, now can I get in it, please? Ah, oh, no. <laughs> it just can't. It won't, it won't let me. It just it just won't let me. It's like, no. Ugh. I'm jumping. I'm crouching. I do I'm going to lose it. I'm going to lose it. I can't even get in the friggin' car at this point. What happened now? What was that? I blew a tire. I pushed the car and blew a tire. Oh, my God. 
could this get any worse? And now it's sliding away, and I can't get in the fucking car! Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna lose it. Oh my god. It won't jump either. Normally, oh, there we go. Oh, finally. Great. I can, I, this is so dumb. This is so dumb. I blew a tire pushing the car. I'm not sure how that happens. Must have been a really, really sharp rock right here. Oh, I'm, I'm over it. I'm friggin' over it. I'm so angry at the car. <laughs> like, everything in this episode... Are you just sliding down the hill now? Great. So I can't even stop the car to change the tire, which I do have a spare. Because it's just going to slide down the hill. And now I don't have the momentum to come back up the hill if I go down there. <sighs> I'm glad I grabbed a spare tire. Even though I, I can't even see. It's just sliding down the hill. Forget it. Fuck this. It's not, it's not going anywhere except down the hill. So we might as well just let it roll down the freaking hill. In neutral. Here you go. Because it's never coming back up this hill again. This is this is it. This is the end of this run right here. Okay. Got to find the lowest point because Lord knows it wouldn't stop anywhere until it was at the very lowest point. Because friction isn't a thing in this world. All right, here we go. All right. Well, let's see if we can change that tire. Like I said, there's no point in getting super upset. It ain't gonna. It ain't gonna fix anything by complaining. Ugh, I'm still gonna complain though, cause it's my right. God damn it! All right, here we go. There we go. I think this will work. Hopefully. All right. Let's uh, grab the wrench. Hopefully, the tire in the back seat is is gonna be all right. All right. I can't even see these things. So. Look at this piece of crap. Get out of here. Well, I guess it'll be a little bit lighter then. Why, why won't this go on? There we go. Thank No! I said go on, you dink. All right, so it doesn't match, and it's probably the wrong size, but at least it's a tire. Okay, let's get this down. It's a brand new tire, thank you, or at least pretty new. Okay. Uh, now we got to go, where are we trying to get to? I think it was up there, but that's never going to happen now. Um, But the car officially weighs a bit less, and we no longer need this hubcap. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. Uh, oh, this again. Why can't I just, if the car's on any angle, it's really hard to get into. I don't know if anybody else has noticed this. I kind of wish it had, um, like, Mon Bazoo or something where you can just click on the seat to get in and out. I'm sure there's a reason we're not moving at all. Um... Okay. Okay, this is weird. Why isn't it why isn't it moving? Parking brakes off. Is it just rubbing on the ground? Is that is that the problem? Or is something like significantly more broken than I thought? I 
Like it rolls this way. Uh oh. <laughs> Something may be really broken here. Okay, something is really not right here. Did it, am I caught on something? Or is it just the ground, maybe? Like, it rolls fine. All right, well, you know what? Maybe there's something wrong? Is it that one weird tire? Is that is that is that what's causing the problem? Well, we're going to push it up the hill at least to the other side of the hill. Please don't do this to me. I feel like I could push you. If I could push the car up a hill, I'm pretty sure I could get it over this little lip. Why do you do this? Like, why do why do you like this? Why, why, like, isn't cooperative better car? I. I ugh. Now, as you can see, I'm heading right towards these ex, um, expressive rocks. I like to call them expressive. And we get back behind it. And go. Oh no. Okay, definitely, it's definitely like just suddenly getting stuck. I'm I'm pretty sure the rear end is sliding on the ground at this point and it's just causing me issue after issue after issue. So hopefully we can get to the top of the hill and then roll it down the other side. Maybe, maybe there's a, uh, well, this isn't good. Oh, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, you can do it, baby. You can do it. No, you can't. You're worthless. You're a worthless Lana. Ugh. Okay, come on. Okay. I just need you to get over this lip. I'm begging you. I am. I'm pleading with you to let me get over this lip. Ugh. Ugh. Go, go, go. Go. Okay, perfect. I like the idling because it keeps the car, the, the heat on in the car. As a Canadian, it's very poignant. Okay, let me see. Okay, we're going a little too far to this side, so we got to kind of push it this way a bit. Okay, back behind it. Okay, there we go. All right. The terrain is in no way helping this. I'm wondering if I remove the rear, no, the rear bumper is not going to help. I was thinking it doesn't hang that low. Oh no. Before we do anything. Oh god. All right, let's see. We, oh my goodness. Look at the size of this lake. Oh, I don't see anything though. Oh, oh, oh. There's a building down there. We should be able to get to that building maybe, probably not. Okay, excellent. Okay, let's um, let's try driving it, I guess. All right, here we go. First gear. It starts going, and then it doesn't really want to go. But it's starting to go now. And you don't want to turn it. Okay, the car is moving under its somewhat of its own power. Clutch dump. Come on. <laughs> wanna you want to blow a clutch really quick? There you go. Do that enough times. Okay. We also got to get ready on the brakes because this thing is not going to brake well. I can feel it. Oh, God. I can't see. I can't see. Where's the... Where? Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to... Oh, we're coming in real, real steep here. 
Okay, here we go. Just All right, we made it to a destination after 30 minutes or so. It's fine on flat ground. Like it's it's fine there. Okay, you don't turn this off. Screw you, buddy. Okay, what do we got here? We got Hopefully something with some rear springs cuz that would be great. Let me see. Oh, we might have at least one good rear spring, maybe both. Okay, this would be if this was good rear springs, I will be a happy man. I don't have my spring compressor. Are you kidding me right now? Where'd it go? Actually, I don't have a lot of my tools. Where's my pry bar? And oh, they must have fallen through the car when I got stuck on the world. Uh, this happens sometimes. Fuck's sakes, I finally find springs and you're not going to let me have them. Well, here's a... Here's another screwdriver, but I don't need that. There's some food here. I wonder if I dismantle... Because, like, you can find tools. Like, that's not impossible, but I already have one of these. But I might as well grab another one. Am I just missing it? Because sometimes stuff gets up to the front of the car. Nah, I think it fell through. It, like, when, when your body starts pushing through like this, like the ground and the wheels and stuff, it causes stuff to, like, get lost and fall through the body. I've seen it happen before. Especially even in the single-player game. So, but what we can do is remove enough of the suspension that we can pop the springs out until we find a new spring compressor, which would be lovely. And I saw food in here. Where is it? Ah, is it over there? There it is. Okay, we need food. Perfect. And we'll drink this water. Excellent. Okay. And we'll grab these two waters as backup waters, because Lord knows we're probably losing everything anyway. But that's all right. You know what? I was in a little bit of a mood there, but, you know, you got to shift it <laughs> to, to whatever this garbage is. So my dreams of finding a, or getting my springs changed won't matter now because my spring compressor fell out of the car and that's not great. Unless, like I said, sometimes it can get lost in the darkness parts of things, but you'll see it. It'll say spring compressor through the, through the bate. Okay. Well, you know what? We're going to do this the old-fashioned way. Get out of here. Thank you. Yeah, this spring's good. So if I can remove the entire suspension. You know what else is weird, too? Every brake line I've come across, like not these ones, but those ones, have been bad. Oh, what the? Oh, goodness, no. I'm stuck in the... Get out of here. Mm. You can come off now. That can come out and... Where did this spring go? I could have sworn there was a spring on this side. Oh, wait a minute. Is that it? Everything is off of here except... Yeah, there's no reason this should be hanging on. Oh, wait a minute. 
Oh, God. Okay, here we go. Perfect spring. This is going in the front seat with me so I don't lose it. I saw some springs up here. Are you a uh, spring front, spring front? I could have sworn this had two rear springs in it. Like, did I just not see that correctly? Did it end up in the trunk? Inside the car somewhere? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, well, I guess it was my imagination. Front spring, front spring. Yeah, there's only two front springs, and I could have sworn. Ugh. Look at this piece of crap. Good axle, though. Yeah, my pry bar is missing, too, so I can't even pry that stuff out. God, that's a piss off, eh? But what are you going to do? We made it this far. I'm not making it up that. Well, not without pushing the damn car. And now I've damaged the rear end quite a bit. Yeah, because it's been... I think it's just dragging. I wonder if I remove the exhaust pipe. If that would be less drag. Do you think so? Wait a minute. You got nothing. <laughs> I was hoping they would have something under the hood. Let's just... Uh, no, let's leave that on. We'll disconnect the exhaust at this junction here, is it? There we go. It's, it's a little drag less with that off, but it's going to be a lot noisier. All right, let's see what happens. It's kind of sad that there's no spring there, like... I was convinced there was a spring there, and I'm just in shock of the fact that it's no longer there. I, I just don't know. I could, could have sworn. But, like I said, we can find a new spring compressor. That's not the worst. But when you push the car like that and it bounces around, you're likely to lose something in the process. A new carb would be nice too, because that, that's mine's definitely worn out. My fuel filter's shot, my ignition's shot, or my distributor's shot. I could have bad spark plugs, but I haven't found an engine to replace any of this stuff recently. So eh. gonna have to make do with what we got. Oh yeah. Listen to that bass. Oh yeah, this is this is better, 100%. Okay, out we get. Now let's just okay, just we just got to see if we can push this up this little final bit of the hill here. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, okay, stop, 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 please. No, no. Oh, peace, peace. No, guy. <laughs> Just no, guy. <sighs> oh God, I just want to be one of the cool kids that lives on top of the hill. Ugh. Come on. Uh, you should be oh wait a minute your parking brake's back up no it's not what the oh god here we go oh no oh look it doesn't even slide correctly anymore all right i got oh, okay yep just just slow down bud slow down slow down yeah it's getting hooked on everything it's got to be because it's dragging look at that yeah that's 100 percent the problem there I could put that bigger wheel on the back, maybe. All right.
great, perfect. Yeah, this this um, this engine's like obnoxious. I love it. I gotta get a big run up to this. Maybe that'll help. It's not helping much. <laughs> is just not working out. This is not the dream I had when I started the series. <laughs> oh, now I'm just being run over. Hey, great way to look at the undercarriage of the car, though. Oh, no. Help, I'm trapped. Okay, so we may be stuck down here. Uh, I think I may have to hug the edge of the lake and go that way. Because I don't see this, this happening. I just don't. Especially without my spring compressor. Oh, well, let's shut her down. So this may be the end of this run, I don't know. But she's very... Dude, would you just... Oh my god, I'm going to lose it. I'm gonna, I made about three miles, maybe, total. Um, I just kind of wonder it's up this hill, because I can barely walk. This might be I have to start a new episode. And this one was going fairly well until everything broke at the exact same time. This is what's good about being able to put your tools in the boxes. The problem is, is half the time they don't stay in the box anyway. So, let me see. Well, it's a road. Oh, it just winds up the mountain. That's no good. Yeah, I think we need to start a new one because this this world is too too mountainy, and I don't think I'm gonna make it unless I could have a better spot to store my tools. Here's an idea for you, Mr. Developer. Um, make a toolbox, right, Viking? Make a toolbox, but instead of it having a physics oriented, it's gonna stay in place thing here. Have a specific spot for each tool that'll fit in that toolbox. So you can slot in a wrench, you can slot in this, and that way you can just carry all your tools around in one fell swoop, open it up, and it would work perfectly, I'm telling you. Or like some sort of tool belt you can put it on that you can access with the number keys, which would be grand. Um, but yeah, we may be starting over, but thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please leave a comment, maybe subscribe, maybe tell your friends to subscribe, maybe get your dog to subscribe, or your horse to subscribe. Uh, and if you didn't like this, well, you should probably find yourself a real YouTuber because I'm not much of one. Thank you again so much for watching. Love every view I get. Scapegoat! It's, it's a horrible, horrible car. I hate it. Out!